Hello everyone, thanks for joining me in the Allen Block Workshop. In this video, I will show you how retaining walls work. Not the actual engineering formulas, but simple explanations that will help you gain a better grasp of what happens behind the wall. A retaining wall is a structure that holds or retains the soil behind it. There are many types of materials that can be used to create retaining walls, like concrete blocks, poured concrete, treated timbers, rocks, or boulders. Some are easy to use, Others have a shorter lifespan, but all can retain soil. Now, several questions must be considered when designing a proper retaining wall. For example, is the soil sand or clay or something in between? What is above the wall? A driveway or something heavier like a pool? Will the ground above or below the wall be level or sloped? What is the height of the wall? All of these factors will play a role in how we design the retaining wall. To better understand how retaining walls work, let me show you so that we can better understand. Retaining walls are similar to earth dams that need to be large and heavy enough to hold back the pressure of the water. They are composite structures that use their weight to resist soil pressure and strength, achieved by combining soil compaction with geogrid reinforcement and allen block facing. The retaining wall's strength and weight need to be greater than the pressure exerted on it from this wedge of soil, called the sliding wedge. The sliding wedge has similar attributes as water pressure behind the earth dams. The angle at the bottom of the wedge is determined from the friction angle of the soil. The friction angle is often referred to as the shear strength. The friction angle of soil can be observed by piling soil on the ground. When you pile soil on the ground, it naturally forms a conical shape. The steepness of the cone is directly related to the friction angle of the soil. If you have rough, gravelly soil, you can pile it into a steeper cone than if you have soft, finely grained soil. Clay soil's friction angles are less than stronger soils such as sands and gravels. For example, clay soil increases the area of the sliding wedge when the failure plane angle is reduced. Sandy soil decreases the area of the sliding wedge when the failure plane angle is increased. Retaining walls that are built vertically have disadvantages over those built with batter. Consider how easy it would be to knock you over while standing vertically with your feet together. It wouldn't take much force to push you over. Then, consider your advantage if you were leaning into the force. It would take a much larger force to knock you off balance. Wall batters reduce the sliding wedge pressure and take advantage of leveraging the force. Surcharges add to the pressure that the retaining wall will need to resist. Its weight is added to the sliding wedge. Another type of surcharge is slopes. A slope adds area to the sliding wedge, adding more pressure to the retaining wall. A retaining wall that relies solely on its own weight to stand up is called a gravity wall. The blocks and wall rock provide sufficient mass to resist the soil pressure. Taller walls will require more mass than just the block and wall rock. This is when we use a composite structure of compacted soil reinforced with geogrid and allen block facing. This mass uses its own weight and internal shear strength to resist both the sliding and overturning pressures for the soil being retained. The reinforced soil mass becomes the structure and the allen block wall becomes the facing. Geogrids are synthetic meshes which are manufactured specifically for slope stabilization and earth retention. These grids are available in a variety of materials, sizes, and strengths. By increasing the length of the geogrid in the wall, you increase the mass of the structure and therefore can build taller walls. Geogrid length varies in design with minimum lengths at least 60% of the total wall height. You cannot increase the mass of the structure by using more layers of geogrid. More mass is achieved by lengthening the geogrid. Adding more layers of geogrid only increases the shear strength of the mass, not its weight. Allen Block offers concrete masonry blocks that are modular and interlocking for ease of use. Simply stack the mortarless blocks together using our installation information and create a maintenance-free retaining wall that will add usable land, fix a grading or slope issue, and solve many other site problems. I hope these examples have given you a better understanding of how retaining walls work. You can find more information in our commercial installation manual and residential manual. We have other videos that explore the added benefits of Allen Block retaining walls and free estimating and design applications found on our website. We encourage you to watch all of them. Happy building, always better, 
always Alan Block.